I'm going to show you now how to import delimited data from a text file. Now this data could come from anywhere. It could be that it's been exported from a database, from a word processing document, from another Excel workbook, or a different type of application spreadsheet such as Lotus. I'm actually going to get the information off a website. Uh, you don't have to sort of know how I'm doing this, but I'm just going to a website, uh, GraphSkill Limited. It's a great online store if you need any cheap stainless steel fastenings. Um, and I'm just going to export all my data off this online shop. Again, you don't really need to know what I'm doing here, but I'm separating the data by comma. That means between each bit of data, there will be a comma. All I want here is the product name, the price, and... The quantity so I'm removing the rest of those ticks and then I'm going to download the file and save it okay so I've got a file there with my delimited data in it let's go to our spreadsheet choose where we want our data to start and then we're using the data tab and from the data tab we select get external data and you can see there you can get external data from lots of different places, from an access database, directly from some websites you can get it, um, and other sources as well. But I'm getting it from a text file. And the basic, the basic process is the same for all these. So I'm choosing from a text file. Notice that the uh, import text dialog box automatically chooses text files for me. Depending on your file types, you can change that to see all the files. Okay, so I now need to go to where I downloaded that uh, data to. And it's in my downloads folder. And you can see I've got a number of different documents here. And it's this one here that I've just downloaded. So I'm going to select it. Notice that it's got an Excel icon associated with it. That may or may not be the case for you. The important thing is that this is a comma separated uh, document and it's a text document. So once I've selected it, we click on the import button and then we get the text import wizard. And there's only three steps. Step one, how is the data in your file separated? You can see a preview down here of the data. What is it that separates one chunk from another chunk? How do we separate the price from the quantity? And we've got two ways. It can either be delimited by a character, such as a comma or a tab, or it could be fixed width. It could be your um, data is exactly 10 characters wide each time. That's quite uh, uncommon. So I'm, I'm sticking with delimited because we know it's a comma delimited text file. And then where do we want to start the import from? We don't have to take the whole document. I could start from row five or row seven. If you've got some um, erroneous data there at the top of your text file, you could see it down here. So if you wanted to filter out and perhaps not take in those titles, you could start at row two and then you wouldn't get that titling. But I want it all. So I'm sticking with start import at row one. We then move through the wizard to the next step. We're now on step two of three. And this is where we can define what is that delimiter? What is it that separates the chunks of documents? Again, we've got this preview at the bottom. It's all in one chunk at the moment because we've got tabs selected. And there aren't any tabs in our data. So it's treating each line as a separate, as a one piece of data. If I change that to semicolon, you can see there's no change because there are no semicolons. If you remember, what we did was have commas separating them. And you can see now it's chunked it for me. It's put them into columns because it's picked up where those commas were. Let's just remove that and show you again. Single chunk of data, not separated at all. Tell Excel that we've got a comma separating them, and everywhere it sees a comma, it knows to separate that into a separate column of data. So, click the comma, 
and you can see we've now got three columns of data nicely separated. You can actually have more than one uh, if you want to have some complex files, um, but I'm sticking with a comma separated file, so we've got that now. Move through the wizard to the next step. Step three. And this is where we can do some pre-formatting. Generally, the, color, the data is selected as general, and that means that if you've got numeric data in your file, Excel will convert it to numbers. If you've got dates, it will convert it to dates, and everything else is text. But you can override that. If you know that this first column, the name column, is text, why not set it up as text now? You don't have to, you just can. If this last column was um, dates, for example, then you could set it up as dates now. It's not, so I'm going to put it back to general. So you could override, um, to a small extent, how the data is imported, how it appears once it's been imported. So we've set that up now. We've been through the three steps of the wizard. And remember, with all these wizards, you can go backwards and forwards through the different steps. Everything's set up as we want. We click Finish. The final step, I know I said step three, and there was only three steps, but this is the final bit. Um, and for some strange reason, it doesn't have a step number. Where do we want the data to go? It's picked up the current cell that we had selected earlier. So that's normally the place you'd want it to go. But if you'd forgotten to select the cell, you could choose now where you wanted that to go. Or you could even put in a brand new worksheet. So you're just choosing where you want that data to go. Click on OK, and there's your data. So that's a fairly straightforward way, really, of bringing data into your uh, worksheet. Just go through that again very quickly. I delete that. So to import the data very quickly, the Data tab. Get external data. Choose what type of file you want to import it from. Find the file. Import the file. Simply go through the wizard, setting things up as you want it to be. Chances are it's going to be delimited. Starting at row 1, move through the wizard. Choose what type of delimiter you've got. In this instance, we've got a comma. Use the data preview section to make sure you're setting things up as you want them to be. Move through the wizard. Override some of the formatting if you wish. Finish the wizard. Choose where you want the data to go. OK. You've now imported your data. Just so that you've got some uh, data to work with, um, if you've got any kind of spreadsheet open, you can export this data to a text limited file. And you can do that in this Just using uh, the worksheet with data on, simply do the Office button, down to Save As, and then the Save As Type dialog box. There's lots of different file types that you can use. For example, there's a text delimited tab file. So you could save as one of those and practice importing that kind of file. There is a comma separated file. That's the one that we've just been using, also known as a CSV file. Space delimited. So you could choose all these different options and then try importing them.